Thank you for downloading one of our safety statement templates and welcome to the instructions on how to customize the actual safety statement. Okay, let's first of all clear out of here and have a look at a couple of other screens. Okay, first thing is the website itself where you would have bought the safety statement. Now in the instructions tab here, you can download a PDF version of the instructions and also it's further on the website and it's also in the email that you received with confirmation, there'll be a link in there as well. Okay, let's just go out of here some. This is the first page of the actual instruction document, which is a PDF, as I said, that you can download. It gives you further information of what we're going through here now as well. So I'll close that out of the way. Back again now on the desktop, and if you're watching the early video, you may remember we saved here our alarms and CCTV safety statements. First thing we're going to do is open it up. So we'll click to open. Now, that as you see is called alarms and CCTV. So I'm going to save it now as a different name. So we'll save as, we're still going to go to the desktop. You can save it wherever you want. And instead of calling it alarms and CCTV, I'm just going to call it Joe Blocks. Joe Blog Safety Statement and save. Now, if I just minimize this for a moment, we'll see we have as well the Joe Blogs and the Alarms and CCTV. We always recommend doing this because this Alarms and CCTV will now becomes your backup copy in case anything ever goes wrong or if you make any mistakes on the editing, you can go back to this one. So, Joe Blogs open up again. Very first thing, as you see, top of the page is a logo. Um, if you use a logo, you can replace it. If you don't use a logo, you can just get rid of it. So the simplest thing is just even to leave the text. It's gone. Um, the other way of doing it is the way we will do with the rest of the program as we go along. Um, we'll see here now we're called ABC Company. So we want to get rid of ABC Company and some other things as well. So up on the top right corner there, you'll see on my version of Word, there is a find and replace. You may have it in a slightly different area on the screen, but it's still the command you use. So it's saying find what? So I want to find ABC Company. And in every safety statement template that we do, we call everybody ABC Company. So it's the same process for everybody. So even though this is for the access controls, or sorry, alarms and CCTV, um, if you're a carpenter, electrician, supermarket, restaurant, the process is still the same. Replace with what? I'm going to go with Joe Blogs Limited. Grant. And now I'll say replace with. That does it through the whole document. All done, we made 63 replacements. So that's the first thing. So if we just close this, we'll see, oops, I made a mistake. I call it Joe Blogs instead of Joe Blogs. No problem, easy enough to fix that using the same way. So we're going to go with replace, and we're going to look for Joe Blogs and replace them with Joe Blogs. And replace them. And again, 63 replacements close and we'll see it's changed out now to Joe Blogs. Um, again, any mistake you make, you can do it, fix it in the same way as well. The address line, straightforward enough, let's call it um, 123 Main Street. Um, and we'll use our own hometown here in Wicklow. Grant Main Street Wicklow. Down to the contents page. Now we'll see here again, Joe Blogs Limited is already in there. Um, we'll see the logo here. Now this is the next thing to do. In the header and footer, um, the simplest way to get rid of the logo, if you don't use any logo at all, you just would do the find and replace. And we'll say find what logo here. Replace with what? And we just do a blank space and we say replace all. Make two replacements, okay, close. So now that's the logo is gone. However, let's just undo that for a moment. Undo just brings it back again. If we make a mistake, easy to fix. If I do want to use a picture, the thing about the find and replace is it can handle pictures. So in that case, all I do is double click with the left mouse, highlight logo here, delete it, and insert my picture from wherever I might want to have it. And then once it's in, I then just close the header and footer, and that's it in there. Okay, now if we just get rid of it again, go replace, logo here, blank space, replace close. Now you'll see down here we have manager 2 and manager 1 so we need to change that to be our own staff so let's go replace M -A -M -A -G -E -R 2 with and we'll call this um, Mr. Senior obviously we're a real person for you and we'll say replace all made 20 replacements okay and then we'll go with Mr. Junior 
from manager one. And replace it. Okay, now it is important to note in the way we've set up the safety statement, manager two is the more senior person and manager one is the more junior person. That's why we just call them Mr. Junior, Mr. Senior. Um, they can be the same person in some safety statements, like some of our safety statements are for self-employed. They can be the same person. That's perfectly okay. And um, you just need to check in case there's any funny language in there. So we close that and we'll see now Mr. Senior, Mr. Junior are in there. Um, now we look at the date. And we see again at the bottom of the page, document owner, Mr. Junior, and approved by Mr. Senior. So again, the more senior manager is approving everything that's being done. We replace the date in the same way, find and replace, and we'll go with xx-xx-xx, and we'll say we'll pick any date at all, say 25th of June 2014, excellent. And again, replace all, uh, made no replacements, because as you'll see there, I made a little mistake um, and I had three X's in. So now we'll say replace all. And it made nine replacements. Okay, close. Um, so there we go. That's pretty much it already set up. Um, now we should again we'll make sure to save as we go along. Um, we've already saved this job log, so I'll just say save. Um, and then we scan down through the document, looking to see if there are any other issues we have there. We see now. It says Joe Blogs Limited Comply, Joe Blogs Limited, which is great, that's all in there. Um, the document owner on every page, this policy of Joe Blogs, great. Um, we're compliant with the construction regulations 2013. In this area, that's fine. If you're a restaurant, that wouldn't be relevant. We have here then Joe Blogs Limited have a point, Mr. Junior is having responsibility. So you can see throughout the whole document now, it's been customized um, to suit yourself. You do need to go through it and just make sure that you sense check it for any mistakes or anything specific to your own environment um, and then that's pretty much it the next stage is to customize the risk assessments and we'll have a look at that in a separate little video and they are also covered on the pdf